The first step for me to achieve all of this is actually controlling my calendar. So in the background, you'll see sort of this uh, faded version of what my calendar looks like on almost any given week. And um, it goes usually from somewhere around 8 o'clock to 6 p.m. And it's, as you can see, kind of back to back. Um, sometimes about one to two times a week, I have um, an event, and I, I limit it to two times a week. So if I have more than two events at night, my assistant isn't allowed to schedule anything more. I believe, actually, a sustainable work week is about 60 hours. And this is something I talk to my startups about pretty openly. Um, I think that the 100-hour weeks, I know that some of our startups are pulling, is not sustainable at the end of the day. But the 40-hour week is not going to make you competitive in those scenarios. So 60 hours, we've talked to a lot of executive coaches about this. And it feels like the, the, the resonance is that 60 hours is really hard but it's also very doable and sustainable. And if you hold yourself to that and you go back and you look at, take out all the hours that you're surfing the internet, and you take all the hours out that you're just sort of looking up Facebook, then if, or, and ask yourself, are you actually working 12 hours a week, or uh, 60 hours a week? It's actually, you know, it's very difficult. And so I, sometimes what we do within our firm is we'll do a time audit and we'll say, how are you spending each hour block? And, and you have to be very honest because it's only for yourself. And you say, how much of your time are you spending on different facets of your business or your personal life? And does it add up to roughly 60 hours for your work? And also, how do you allocate those 60 hours? And so especially in venture capital, and I think in almost any profession, your most valuable asset actually ends up being your time. It's not your dollars and cents. It's nothing else. It's your time. And so are you spending too much time working on email? And is email now your workflow? Or are you controlling that? How many hours did you spend on mercy meetings where you knew five minutes in that this meeting was not valuable to the other person? It wasn't valuable to you either. Right? How, and, and how much of your time do you want to allocate to mentoring people? All of those things you have to figure out ahead of time, and then see how you're doing with respect to that. And so occasionally what we'll do is we'll take these cards, and basically a note card, and we'll say, how was the last hour spent? And we have you know, 10 categories that we could say we spent it against. And at the end of the week, we'll see how we've spent our time. If you do that over the course of about six weeks, you'll start to see a rhythm and a pattern. And you can start to assess whether or not you're, so you're spending your time wisely. We've found that that is absolutely essential in order to really diagnose whether or not you are doing the right thing around your calendar.